So welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So I have told you in the previous tutorial about anonymous footprinting, pseudo anonymous footprinting and loads of other stuff. So you might be thinking that why footprinting is much important but you must have already have had some random idea as to why it is that important and what kind of strategy it is exactly. So it allows um, in terms of security for companies, it allows attackers to know about the complete uh, security po posture of the organization and it is not good, trust me guys. It reduces the attacker's area to specific range of IP address, network, domain names, even remote access. It even allows them to build their own information da database about the targets, organization security and their weakness to take appropriate action. And it, uh, it is also easy for them to get the actual environment they are going to break and they can also go ahead and create a home environment in the same way that they have in the organization. So for attackers to build a hacking strategy, there are a few things. That is knowing security posture, performing footprinting on target organization in a systematic and a methodological manner. Uh, they will be able to get information or complete profile of the organization's security posture. It will also go ahead and reduce their area of attack by because they will get a specific amount of IP addresses within which they know that uh, okay this company has only used this set of IP addresses and it will be e easier for them to go ahead and hack into them because he already knows uh, what can be. So he just have to guess some specific random things and by using doing a good amount of social engineering he will even get that. After that we have building information database as I told you going ahead and creating a virtual network at home based on the similar organization structure. And then finally drawing the network map uh, that is combining footprinting techniques such as tracer tool which allows the attacker to create network diagrams of the target's organization network presence. This map allows uh, or this map network represents the understanding of the target's internet full footprint and these network diagrams can also guide in the attack. So coming back to the next point there are a few objectives of footprinting. So these objectives, uh, the major objectives of footprinting include collecting the target's network information, system information and the organization information. And by carrying out footprinting at various network levels, you can gain information such as network blocks, network services, application system architecture, intrusion detection systems, specific IP addresses, access controls and many more. And with footprinting information such as employee names, phone numbers, contact, contact addresses, designations work experience and even the employee id and what is their id and when what is specific amount of salary they get even each and everything can be obtained so the first uh, thing that a hacker would do would be to collect information that would be its objectives uh, the network information can be uh, gathered by performing a whois database analysis or trace routing and it includes domain name internal domain names network blocks ip addresses of reachable system rogue websites or private websites TCP and UDP services there that the company is running, their access control mechanisms that is ACLs and networking protocols, VPN access points, intrusion detection uh, system and how they detect and how they are running on which protocols, analog or digital telephone numbers, authentication mechanisms and system enumeration. So these things come under the collecting network information. After that we have uh, the collecting system information such as the users and group names and if you go and check into an organization they don't have any uh, specific names such as uh, if, uh, each the users they have uh, the username is almost the same let's say for the my, my piece let's say if uh, the name of my company is uh, let's say XYZ or let me take a specific item name let's say Mercedes for example so the name of my company is Mercedes so the name of the systems users would be Mercedes 1, Mercedes 2, Mercedes 3 and or Mercedes P uh, hash uh, PRO1, Mercedes hash PRO2 so it's quite easy to gather if you even if you get one uh, specific user's name it will be easier to guess the other user's uh, name and by that you can also get the group names, system banners, routing tables their SMB information, system architecture as to which system and they, they are using and they will be able to go ahead and try to override the hardware by if they get access to the hardware then getting remote access to the system machine, system names and passwords. So after they collect the system information that final thing would be to get, gather the organization's information which would be the employee details, organization's websites, company directory, location details addresses, phone numbers, backgrounds of organization, news articles and all these things. So till now I have discussed the footprinting concepts. Now I'll go ahead and discuss what are the threats that footprinting gives you. 
The footprinting thread section familiarizes you with the threads associated with footprinting such as social engineering, system and network attacks, and corporate espionage. These include attackers gathering valuable system and network information such as account details, operating system, installed applications, network components, servers, and many more. And these finally lead to business loss. So the first and the foremost important thing would be social engineering because it is uh, if any other uh, attack fails such as uh, let's say if you have an updated windows 8 or if uh, in your piece uh, organization you're not at all using any version of windows which is quite not possible but let's say to be secure you're only using linux so that you don't have to uh, let's say worry about about any person hacking your organization or if you have applied each and every patch of linux ubuntu or fedora whichever you're using or even red hat but still uh, hackers can gain access by via social engineering. So what is social engineering? Social engineering means without using any intrusion methods, hackers can directly or indirectly collect information through persuasion or any other means and the crucial information gathered by the hackers and the employers without their consent. So this is a very unique method. Let's say, for example, you are working in an IT company, or uh, or you are working, or you are just a normal, let's say, normal person working in a company, and one day you are at home, and uh, some random day you just get a call stating that if the person may have gathered already your, let's say, your user ID or not user ID, he may already have your employee ID. Yeah, he may have gathered that by just looking over you uh, when you're just uh, going ahead and crossing your subway line on the road and uh, he has your employee ID. So he will just call you and tell you, uh, hello, sir, I'm calling you from this, this company. That means the same company in which you are working. Let's say uh, your name is Adam and you're working for an XYZ company and this guy sees you and he wants to hack your organization and uh, so he gathers all the information. So he, he sees you passing on the road with your ID in your neck and your employee ID, ID is uh, ABCD at grade 1, 2, 3, let's say for example. So he will just uh, go ahead and call you, hello sir, I believe your name is Mr. Adam, you'll say yes and then he will tell you, okay, so uh, I believe this. I am calling you from your company, that's XYZ, I am uh, the network manager over here. And due to some reason, I'm unable to access your password to your PC. And so, can you just help me uh, with that? And before I proceed, I believe ID would be ABCD at grade one two three. So you will think, okay, this guy knows my uh, address, he knows my name, he knows my employee ID. So he must be the real guy who is from the IT department. So you will just go ahead and give him out the username and then password. And then finally, he will have what he needs, and he will just go ahead and uh, he won't even go ahead and directly connect, uh, disconnect the call. He will just tell you, "Okay, thank you, sir. I'm unable. To, I'm able to access your system now. And by the time you uh, access your system tomorrow, I will have full maintenance done on your system." And he will close the call uh, in a very good manner. And you will think, "Okay, I just helped this guy, so you will feel good." But when the next day you reach the office and you'll come to know somebody has already accessed all the information. And you are the person who gave the information and you are the only person responsible and you will be the one who will be serving jail time or you or perhaps you may not even get uh, another job because of your insecurity that you perform. So these are the ways as to how any person can gather information via social engineering attack. After that we have system network attacks, information leakage, uh, privacy loss, corporate espionage and business loss. So these are the ways as to these are different ways as to how we can go ahead and gather information on a specific person. We are using um, loads of other techniques and yes, after that we have footprinting tools which I will be showing you some practical stuff as to how we can go ahead and gather information and the most important one is which I will be showing you later on would be the Google hacking database. You won't even need any, need any kind of specific tool to uh, hack into any stuff. You would just need a computer. You won't even need any software to install. Uh, you won't even need the administrator right to go ahead and just uh, gather information. You just need a computer with the internet access and just the access of Google is more than enough for you. So yes, so I will be teaching you that in the next tutorial. That is it for next this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the footprinting tools and gathering information via Google Hacking Database.